Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the inaugural episode here of Fantasy Labs. I'm, as it says on the stream, I'm Professor Pete. I'm Judge Jeremy. Jeremy, how are you tonight, my, my dear friend? Uh, you know, I'm doing pretty good. How about you, Pete? Uh, I'm doing really well as well. I'm so excited to hop into uh, this new iteration uh, in many ways, you know, Brews 2.0. 2.0. Oh, I, already have, I already have this thing open. I close that and just have this cool Tomb of Annihilation wallpaper up. Uh, Roger Twy says, Fantasy Labs, not just about big dogs anymore. <laughs> I don't fully know what that means. Labs, uh, Pete, like, like the dog, lab, Labradors. Oh, that's a very good joke, and I'm sorry I didn't get it immediately, uh, immediately, Roger. Um, so, oh, yes. Pete. Uh, I, what a fool I've been. Um, this is Fantasy Labs. This is our new homebrew show um, where we're going to be putting together or putting together out of stream and then doing a lot of like homebrew review and critique rather than our old more like build on stream and kind of brainstorm on stream format. We're going to be doing a lot more. <laughs> I just saw us, us duplicated. I don't um, know about that. Pete. That didn't happen. I must have imagined things. No technical issues ever. We didn't Pete, do the, you didn't uh, send I, an announcement. I hit the button. Pete. Go. I'll do it again. I'm pretty sh sure I did. <laughs> um, is it not twice? No, it's good. It went, it went that time. Don't well, send it two more times. Oh no. Uh, it's just gonna, it's just gonna pop up in a second. So those of you coming in right now, because there's now been an announcement. Uh, welcome to Fantasy Labs. Um, so this is going to be the show where we're doing our, our homebrew, a lot of critique and review, uh, and that is kind of the new direction that we're going to be taking from. Uh, D and D time brews in the past. Uh, previously, when we've done homebrew shows, we've done a very Pete and Jeremy's D and D time centric show, where we specifically would brew things in the world of Pete and Jeremy's D and D time and to be played in that game. I know a lot of the times, and, and people have had a lot of fun with this in the past. We've done all those like magic items, Jeremy. Uh, oh yeah, we've done uh, many a many a thing. Uh, we got some of them uh, up on the stream in the background right here. I see you have the monastic tradition way of dreams <laughs> uh, as part of our background. I mean, the way of dreams is just good, though. Like, that's the good way even dreams, out of the indie time. Yeah, I think the way of dreams just works as a, uh, uh, as a subclass. Pretty it good interests way. me more than I think any of the other monk subclasses, but that's maybe just me. No, I, I kind of feel that. Maybe except for open hand, just because that one's so versatile in its usage. It's, oh, it's better, but I feel like the way of dreams is, is fun. The way anyway, it seems is more anyway. flavorful, but open hand is just, you can make it, is more that blank slate you can build anything on. Yes, you're right. We're uh, getting on a tangent about the open hand monk. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a departure from that, which is we're going to be building homebrew, not for play in Pete and Jeremy's D&D &D time, but really just for its own sake uh, to kind of create, to see what we're able to make and to get better at the process of building homebrew and just good game design over the course of the, uh, the run of the show is the hope. Um, and not yeah. just me and Jeremy, but us as a community kind of growing together and, and getting better at something that I find like really just a lot of fun making stuff. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, everyone play, well, not everyone, a lot of people play Dungeons and Dragons, right? But like the next step when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons is like, man, I've been playing D&D &D and I love it, but here's this idea I really want to do, but it doesn't exist, so I guess I can't do it. Uh, but but with homebrew you can right and becoming good at homebrew can really open the game up in a way that the the normal game just doesn't it can't have right because it can't have everything yeah absolutely uh and that's uh well that's what we're going to be doing uh taking our own ideas that me and jeremy have kind of outside of stream and just mm -hmm. seeing what we can come up with and, and trying to create them with a polish that is uh, rivals the quality of at least the Unearthed Arcana coming out, but ideally the quality of like published content, uh, the player's Absolutely. handbook and the uh, the monster manual. Uh, so that's what our goal is today. And and me and Jeremy both have something to kind of present uh, that we've created off stream uh, to kind of go through and review, like we've done our Unearthed Arcana reviews in the past. Um, and uh, we're going to be getting into that. And it's probably fair to say that. I created mine. Though. That that's was true. Incredible. Uh, we'll be talking Here's about, uh, yes, uh, after helped you, uh, or I guess after inspired the mm -hmm. um, the finished Ranger variants that you ended up uh, kind of putting together there. Uh, but we'll talk about after's version, I think, a bit as well. Um, 
But before we even do any of that, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're going to be like, just how this show is going to work. Um, because one of the defining things, as you mentioned, after uh, submitted a lot of really cool ideas for Ranger variants, which we'll talk about in a bit, uh, in the workshop on our D&D Time Discord here. And that is something that we're really hoping that people begin doing a little bit more. Um, because as we're working our way through Fantasy Labs here, we're going to be just perusing the Discord, the workshop, and the new uh, completed works tab uh, that you see on the Discord underneath the Fantasy Labs section, um, which the workshop is a place for you guys to just hash out and bounce ideas off of each other and to, um, you know, if you have a moment of inspiration but don't have the time to build it, just throw an idea in the workshop and let people know what you're thinking about. And I bet you there's someone in the community that is inspired by it and will want to build the thing that you've had the idea for. That's me. Um, yeah, in this, case, it's, in this case, it's Jeremy. It'll also probably be me a lot as well. Um, and... Likewise, completed works is for if you have put something together that you think is like polished and at like a, a level where, you know, it's, it's done as far as you're concerned, you could post it in completed works. But we're going to be perusing those and looking through and kind of trying to find a uh, homebrew that you guys have created to talk about and also review on this show alongside ours. Um, because yeah. we're trying to uh, put a lot of stuff together. Uh, and Jeremy, would you like to talk a little bit about why we're trying to make more polished homebrew? Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of reasons we're trying to put together more ho polished homebrew. One is, at least for me, I, I like that, right? When it looks nice and it is really nice, it's just like when it, when it is good, but it looks bad, that bothers me. But when, it, when you polish a turd, that's also bad. So I want it to like be good and look good. And part of that is because of my own neuroticism, but also part of that is we are planning to put some of our content that we create on this show on the Dungeon Masters Guild. For those of you who are unaware, this is an official um, kind of online marketplace kind of deal um, that is run, I think it's run by Drive Through RPG, um, but it's in association with Wizards of the Coast where people can sell their content um, that is uh, applicable to gameplay in the Forgotten Realms. Um, so as long as, you know, you can post sub-races and subclasses and things, as long as it's not, like, about, like, Ravnica specifically or a specific yeah. campaign setting, as long as it's D&D &D androgynous, uh, it, can, it can work, right? Campaign, um, uh, whatever, agnostic is the word I wanted. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a really cool little place. We're doing it mainly because that's like a big way you get noticed, right? In in the D and D kind of sphere, right? Is by selling stuff on Drive Through RPG and or not Drive Through RPG on the DMs Guild and it getting a lot of attention there, just as a way to kind of legitimize us. Yeah, um, Wizards of the Coast takes a lot of time and like noticed of you know groups and people that are putting out and actually like seeing some of their things that they put on the DMs Guild sell. Um, which, and I think the word like sell will have immediately a ne negative connotation for some people, um, which I kind of understand that gut reaction. Um, one thing I want to be clear about up front is that anything that we're going to be putting on the DMs Guild will be like, uh, you know, barring any exceptions I can't foresee right now coming down the road, we'll be putting it here and working on it here on Fantasy Labs. So if you're watching Fantasy Labs, you are going mm -hmm. to see and get to like interact with and you know really if you want just play that content uh from watching the stream here on fantasy labs like we have some uh what i think are relatively polished things to show off uh tonight that we've put together um so the kind of content on that's going to be on the dms guild is more of just like a more cleaned up visually cleaned up version of it more like aesthetically pleasing that's more men is kind of like a way to like offer us some extra support rather than, you know, barring you from that content if you're unable to do that. Um, so uh, we're really excited to kind of get some of that on there and, and start kind of showing, you know, putting our money where our mouth is on saying that, you know, this stuff that we create, we think of it's a, it's a quality, like, yeah. worthy of this, you know, next step. Yeah, and I guess basically the, the big takeaway we really want for you guys is our, our kind of loyal audience here. None of this stuff is going to be blocked from you guys, right? Like people say, it's all going to be on the show. 
the DMs Guild is just an extra way that, hey, if, if you want to support us further, you can throw 50 cents in or whatever. And Yeah, you know. a lot of people will probably be pay what you want as well. Yeah. Um, here and there. But more on that as we start putting stuff on there, which, again, I'm, I'm really excited about. Um, Absolutely, yeah. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, I imagine as we move forward, people that are interested in making something of a... <laughs> Uh, I, I have some ambitions to do oh, some like, larger pop projects and publications uh, where, you know, multiple people could feature their work in like a, you know, a D and D time monster compendium of like, you know, <laughs> get a bunch of people to submit monsters from the community and put it as like a bundle, you know, lots of stuff like that, that could be really cool for us to create together. So um, yeah, I think there's some cool stuff there. And I guess like, the biggest takeaway that we're really going for we just want to empower everybody, right? We want to empower you guys to make awesome homebrew for yourselves and your own games. And we want to create better homebrew for, well, for you guys and for us, right? I'm going to use yeah. a lot of the stuff that we make here <laughs> in my own for games. Sure. Um, for sure. Uh, I would probably, personally, I'll rarely make something that I wouldn't, because if yeah. I wouldn't want to use the thing that I'm making, then why would I make something that doesn't inspire me, you know? Um, yeah. So a, a lot of this is very both, uh it, it's internally and externally motivated um and uh i'm sorry to hear blood in the chat saying it's having issues with twitch yeah i guess maddie morgues is saying that twitch has been having some problems all all since the new year with its ads and subscriber things and quality options so hopefully that gets sorted out soon unfortunately we really can't uh do much about the quality options until we hit um uh blah, 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 twitch partner which we're not quite there yet so tell your friends to, to come watch us if they have any interest in creating cool homebrew for 5e. Yeah, absolutely. Please, uh, please do this. Um, That's the way we will get those options. Uh, so, Jeremy, I, I think that's all of, about all I have for like behind mm -hmm. behind house. Do you want to get into like some of what we're going to be the, the yeah, actual yeah. process of homebrew and writing homebrew? 